I challenge you to an MMA fight. Three, two, one, four, one, two, three. I met a bad bitch last night. What started off as a seemingly normal day seemed to transform itself into a personal challenge. Jake Paul. It's a name we all know. Some love him, and some hate him for his childish antics. Recently, KSI called Jake Paul out and challenged him to a boxing match after a victorious win over Joe Weller. Jake Paul had to respond, of course, in a way that would soon be the downfall of his channel, in the inflation of his ego. He wanted to set the rules. This won't be a boxing match, Mr. KSI. This is going to be an MMA fight. LA, my house, my rules. While KSI denied the challenge, I had an epiphany that I only fully realized while urinating after a long day of drinking soda. KSI, my friend, step aside, it's time for the big man to take over and fight Jake Paul. Follow me on my training montage, and soon I will conquer the man himself. Losing for you, Jake Paul? It's everyday, bro. It was obvious what I had to start with. I'm mad thick. Some call me chunky at a bulky 5'10", 140 pounds compared to Jake Paul's 6'2 height and intimidating 190 pound stature. How will I ever catch up to a man of such size? It took me months, but I finally lost fat and gained muscle mass. Step 1 was now complete and out of the way, and I was feeling healthier than ever. So step 2 of the training process begins. It quickly proved to be the hardest. I had to maintain my weight and muscle mass by keeping an ongoing healthy diet of only the greatest corn product food and the most chemically safe drink one can find under their kitchen sink. Eventually, those proved not to be enough, so I had to rely on some safe pills I got from a man behind my local gym. Lucky for me, my first take was free. All I had to do was let the guy inject it into me himself. It was weird, I've never seen someone inject somebody else with drugs without using a syringe, but instead, he used his mouth. Huh. I should also advise that my diet might have some negative side effects, such as, but not limited to seizures. With step two out of the way, and me feeling such low self-esteem that I wanted to kill my- With step two out of the way, it was finally time to work on my technique. This is what would help me win the fight, essentially. In order to master my technique, I first had to learn my opponent's moves. I'm quite impressed. Jake Paul can fight like Tyke Meissen. And you may be good, Jake Paul. You may be good. But are you this good? What if I- whoa, whoa, ha. whoa, sick moves, man. Alright, yeah, let's go. We're almost done. Now it's just time to practice proper hygiene techniques and change our look before we meet Mr. Paul. And lastly, we have to make a promo for the match. One that'll get all the girls riled up. One that'll show my true physique. Okay. Alright guys, thank you for uh, coming along with me on this wonderful journey. It took months. I'm so prepared now. In the next video, drop a like if you want to see me fight Jake Paul, because there will be a part two where I'm fighting Jake Paul. I'm actually on my way to his house currently, and I'm ready to film it. So uh, drop a like. We'll see how the next video goes, and I'm going to go fight Jake Paul.